Hey, this is Mark Davis with Big Water Adventures. I want to talk to you about leader length. To me, it's actually a simple process. If you go to salt water, you've got leaders and you've got top shot. And it's very simple between the two. To me, if the knot goes past the tip, it's a top shot. If it's going into the guides and winding onto the reel, that's when you need to start looking at an FG knot or something like that. As opposed to an actual leader, you could do an FG knot if you want, but if a leader's not gonna go through the tip, it's just whatever knot you're best at and what's most comfortable to tie. If you're good at an Albright, tie an Albright. Double uni, tie double uni. As long as it's a good knot and you're comfortable with it. But as far as leader length, when you're really looking at leader length, you need to think about what are you trying to do? Are you trying to, is it a chafe leader? Are you worried about a fish's jaw? Are you worried about its tail? Then you're looking at the overall length of the fish. Are you worried about visibility? If I'm dropping into 100 feet of water, I'm gonna top shot if I'm, if I'm butterfly jigging tunas because you're gonna drop the bait past them and you're gonna come back past them. So you literally want a long enough leader to separate their thought process from the braided line to the lure. If I'm bottom fishing and I'm fishing in 20 feet of water and I know the rocks are about five feet off the bottom and the groupers are not particularly being line shy, I'm not gonna be as concerned about it from a visibility standpoint as a chafing standpoint. I don't wanna get cut off on the rocks. I don't wanna get cut off on the fish's mouth. Same thing in freshwater on a smaller scale. Are you worried if you're pitching into four feet of water and you're pitching a jig and you're bass fishing, you don't need more than three feet a liter because bottom line is you're only in four feet of water and that fish's strike zone is probably gonna be a foot, maybe two. So what you need to think about is are you trying to prevent from getting cut off? Are you trying to keep from being seen? What are you specifically doing with the bait? But the best way to start is if at all possible, if you're talking leader, I like to try to keep it within the tip. The braid will perform a lot better no matter what kind of knot, if it's an FG knot or whatever you're tying, the braid will perform better on a cast or a pitch or whatever you're doing if it never goes through the tip. It's also less wear and tear actually on the knot itself over time. So if you keep it out of the tip, and as long as you can cast, if you're surf fishing and you got a 12 foot rod, you can go with eight foot a liter and never wind it into the tip and wind it up and send it out there. At the end of the day, think about what are you trying to fish for? Are you worried about them seeing it? Are you worried about them cutting you off? Are you worried about the structure that's around you? And adjust your leader or top shot length accordingly.